Hi guys, today I'm showing you my favorite pizza hack, which is to make pizza on top of naan bread. It's so delicious and you don't have to bother with any pizza dough. I made something like this a while back on the Snapchat Discover page for Tastemade. It went down such a treat, so I thought I'd show you one of my other favorite flavor combinations here on my YouTube channel. So that is caramelized onion and goat cheese. For me, that is one of my favorite toppings on pizza. And I'm going to show you how to make the caramelized onion at home. So I have one onion, I'm just going to cut that into some slices. Once you've cut those into some slices, you then want to cut those in half again. Now I don't know whether or not onions have got any stronger, but I definitely cry more now than I used to do while chopping onions. So just get some small slices and then pop those into a pan. I'm just going to heat that up with some oil. You want to let those heat up slowly, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. On top of that, a big pinch of salt. So my onions are softening nicely, but they've got about five minutes left, so I'm going to prepare my naan bread. So I have mine placed on a pizza tray, and on top, I'm going to spread over some passata. Just want to spoon that on, as much or as little as you would like. That's the great thing with homemade pizzas. You just want to leave a crust around the edge as you would with a pizza. Okay, on top of that, I'm going to pour over some grated mozzarella. I'm using two cheeses on this pizza, some mozzarella and some goat cheese. I think they both work perfect with the pizza. So spread that on. For my goat cheese, I'm going to cut that into some rings so it's ready for when I need it. So it's been 20 minutes, time to add in my brown sugar and balsamic vinegar. This is going to add so much flavor to those onions. So once that's all stirred together, that will need another 10 minutes to cook on a low heat. So I'm gonna pop that on another hob, get another pan out, and I'm going to wilt some spinach. So into a nice big pan, low heat again. I'm going to add some spinach into my pan. And let that wilt down. Time to assemble the rest of my pizza. So I'm going to start by adding some of that caramelized onion. You can add as much or as little as you would like. I love the sweet flavor it brings to the pizza. So pull that over, spread it out. On top, I'm adding some of that wilted spinach. So I just like to grab some and squeeze any excess water out. And for the final and my favorite part of the pizza, the goat cheese, I'm just going to crumble those slices up. You want to leave some bigger bits though, so it's a nice gooey melty section. That is now ready to go into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes in a preheated oven at 180 degrees fan. For other temperatures, they'll be listed here. For me, that is best served straight out of the oven. So that is how you make my pizza hack with goat cheese, caramelized onion, and spinach on top. Easy. Thank <laughs> you.